Hi, this video provides a quick checklist of BCA BIM e-submission using Tecla Structural Designer and Revit 2020. You will need three things to help you create a documentation needed for BIM e-submission. Firstly, a customized integrator for bi-directional interop with Revit. You can do so as many times as you need. Secondly, kind of make use of our template to easily create submission drawings and details in Revit. And lastly, we've created a localized plugin to help you produce Annex A1 and A2 table as per BCA's form. Let's start with the integrator. Depending on which version of Revit you are using, you can download the relevant integrator from our website by logging in with your Trimble ID. Once installed, Tecla Structural Designer Integrator can be found in Revit under Tecla tab. Integration is bi-directional, so you and your BIM technician can work side by side and be able to capture the changes on either side. It is a wizard style application very easy to use step by step. Users can choose to import or export by selecting the relevant file. The Cloud Integrator is not a black box. It allows users full control to intelligently scope the information required during each import or export phase. As you can see on the left here, users can choose whether to import or export grids levels, slabs, members, walls, foundations, or the forces. While Revit has built-in families, the integrator comes preloaded with a bigger list of sections, element shapes, and materials to avoid time-consuming tasks of creating families. Mapping any new attributes becomes simple in Tecla Integrator. Next, let's look at the submission template for Revit 2020. You can request for the TSD template for Revit from our technical support team at tecla.support.sea at trimble.com. The template is created based on BC's guidelines. Upon import of TSD model, You'll be able to double click on the views, elevations, floor plans, schedules, and etc. within Revit. You can then label and tag structural elements by ticking on the customized tags named Trimble. Let us show you an example. This is an RC building with carpet ramps and parquet foundation. The design has been completed in Tecla Structural Designer. From left to right, you see a structural model in the middle, the bending moment contour of final element analysis on the floor slab, and on the right, the utilization ratio of the frame to help you group and optimize your structural scheme effectively. It is now time to export the rivet structure. I have now successfully imported Tecla Structural Designer model into Revit using Tecla Integrator. I've also applied a customized template obtained from technical support team, which allows me to quickly create annotated key plans, elevations, and 3D views. Although Tecla Structural Designer contains all the rebar information, it is not yet possible to export rebar information directly to Revit. However, the reinforcement details is available in text form as shown here. You can easily create schedules for structural elements and customize the tables within Revit. Integration status is readily available in 3D views. Users can use the default colors to indicate different status or change it. This helps engineers and BIM technicians to manage change practically and efficiently. The last thing we want to talk about is the BCA forms for Annex A1 and A2.
please request for the installer from our technical support team. This application is very easy to use. All you need to do is follow the four steps as stated here. First, load the Tecla Structural Designer file. Second, select the floors you would like to create the form for. And third, hit the Generate button. Wait for it to finish generating. And when it's done, you can now hit Open Excel. And the document on the right, as you see here, will then be available in your Excel spreadsheet. And that brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for listening.